Alright, so I noticed that even though the play was more towards um, Dionysus and the women of the play, that was still more about the male characters of Dionysus and Panetheus. I thought it was also interesting the, the fact that you could not understand if everyone in the area was driven to craziness by Dionysus. Um, in the beginning of the play, you're still thinking that Panetheus isn't under the spell, but it still gives little hints about it, and it just like climaxes throughout the play. Um, I also thought it was sketchy that Panetheus was not was so stubborn not to accept Dionysus as a god. I understand that the story of Dionysus is kind of sketchy, but figure that he's a god, no questions asked. Um, so some of the values I had was social order and then just order in general. Um, just because women and thieves in the Greek time, they were oppressed um, and giving the opposite of them getting supernatural powers, um, making milk appear, um, making water appear, making hun honey randomly appear, um, feeding their own breast milk to animals, that they were away from their house, housely and children duties. Um, I would also say that the normal order part was Panetheus just became in charge of thieves and his of his people. Um, and he's not used to women saying no and walking away from him, even if he's threatening jail and severe punishment. Um, um, honestly, I have read this play at least like three or four times for mythology classes, so I didn't really need to look up anything about the play to understand during this time around. Um, the first time I read it, though, it was hard for me to understand that his aunt had no idea what was going on and what she had done. Um, it took me a while to understand that the craziness and the madness that Dionysus was having on them was throughout the whole entire play. Um, but after reading it and looking up some stuff, I did realize that, like, oh, she would, was still under that spell. And even though Dionysus told them that there was a man watching them and that he brought them there for him to them to kill them, it's still kind of an issue for me. Um, so I've talked about the women already, but they would be considered still mad, crazy women, um, frenzied, chaotic, and drunken. I would say that most of the men in the play or around the thieves would be thinking the same as Panetheus, that these women are crazy and that they are not following the duties and the roles that they should be playing. Um, I have one quote from Panetheus saying, Because when women get their sparkle at a feast from wine, I say their entire ritual is corrupt. Um, I also think that the cover that Dover edition picked with Elvis Presley on the cover does make a lot of sense. Um, well, how I think of it is when I think of Lilo and Stitch, the scene where all the girls are swooning over Stitch for playing the ukulele like, like Elvis, and that's how I think of it. These girls are tearing this dude apart. Um, so my questions are, do you think Panetheus was more interested in the ritual because of his age, and what do you think happened when the ants got banished?